If I don't make any major changes to my team before game week 25, I'm going to have to rename this team Ronaldo FC. Finish team! But I'm sure many of you are also facing this dilemma, so in this video, I'm going to be going through the changes I'm going to be making to my team and what tips I can pass on to you for before you hit game week 25. So watch the end of the video to get a full understanding of what to do. So yeah, let's get right into it. So right now, if you look at my team, I've got how many players are not going to be playing in game week 25? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players that aren't going to be playing in game week 25. Oh no, this team is so done. So what should you do b before game week 25? Well, if you still have your free hit, congratulations. You are in a fantastic position and you are clearly looking down to us non-free hit having players uh, like me. So you must be very smug right now and deservedly so. So congratulations to you. As for me and my team, for example, by my calculations, I feel like I need to get rid of five players prior to game week 25 if I want to have a full 11 playing for game week 25. So yeah, I need to make at least uh, maybe two transfers per week, take some minus fours. That's probably the only option for me right now. It is the only option for me right now. So yeah, I've got to yeah decide on who I want to get rid of uh, when. So that's basically a calculation that I need to get right uh, for the upcoming weeks. So I think the best bet for my team uh, for game week 23 at least, uh, I think I'm going to get rid of Raya and I'm going to get rid of... Uh... Ivan Tony because uh, they're playing against Arsenal in game week 23 so that's a very tough game and not likely they're gonna yeah be hitting on that game so I'll probably get rid of those two at first I'm probably gonna get rid of them for uh, players like uh, I'm thinking Kepa because uh, the run of fixtures for Chelsea is not too bad until game week 25 so I feel like he's worth an investment and probably gonna get rid of Tony for Harry Kane because I've got 4.7 left in the budget and I feel like Harry Kane is a guaranteed hit uh, for a lot of games so uh, yeah the, look at the game week fixtures so easy so easy and Harry Kane's just quality so I feel like those are the first two transfers I'm gonna make to my team for Gateway 23. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications on for more FPL content for me. For Game Week 24, I'm thinking probably going to get rid of Ferguson and Rodrigo for Game Week 24, and probably going to bring in uh, Andreas for uh, Rodrigo because he is a money saver and he, Andreas is just amazing for 4.5 mil and using the extra money to get uh, another striker around a 6 million mark for Ferguson because yeah that's the I feel like that's the best way uh, for me going forward so if you look at the 6 mil around the 6 mil area uh, not too bad Edward is okay Mopai is horrible Greenwood mm, Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if I really want to cheap out. Yeah, it's not looking too great down here, but you know, that's what you got to do. And Bumo is not playing, so we're not getting him. Even Brennan Johnson. Brennan Johnson's actually been on fire, but he's playing... He's playing West Ham away. Mm -hmm. That's something to think about. So those are the changes I'm going to be rolling with for now for Game Week 23 and Game Week 24. Let's see how my team shapes up prior to Game Week 25. And then, yeah, I'm going to make some more decisions there. So thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to, to again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications if you want more FBL content from me and be sure to follow me on the socials as well their links are down below TikTok, Twitter, Instagram all those wonderful media platforms please follow me there that will be very helpful and until next time see ya